Hi, my name is Ryan Hefner, and today we are going to explore the world of precision vacuum holding. Vacuum table and vacuum holding applications can be a challenge because the load changes quickly as products are placed on and off of a vacuum table. Consequently, the flow and pressure vary significantly with the number of open holes. Traditional systems using a percent open valve struggle to keep vacuum stable during these varying conditions, which can be detrimental to the product quality. Today, I will demonstrate that Equilibar vacuum regulators are designed to respond instantaneously to these changes. This is particularly important in electronic industries such as the semiconductor and other industries that handle sensitive parts. We will set our system to a weak vacuum of approximately 20 kilopascals to hold this thin film to this vacuum table. Pieces of this film will be placed on and off the table starting at 25% of the total orifices blocked going up to 88%. The objective is to demonstrate that with this wide variation in flow, the vacuum pressure stays constant. Here's our setup. It begins with a vacuum table with approximately 80 orifices. From here, we have a vacuum transducer measuring pressure right at the outlet of the vacuum table. Next, we have an Equilibar EVR GSD-6 valve, which is controlled by electropneumatic pilot regulator. Finally, we have a vacuum gauge which displays our vacuum supply to the system, which will be about 23 inches of mercury, simulating a typical industrial vacuum header. Let's run the system and see what happens. All right, so we'll start at 21 orifices blocked. Um, this is the highest flow condition that the valve will see, and next we'll go to a 28 orifice blocked. So we've added 20 more orifices blocked, and now we'll go block some more. And we've seen that the vacuum levels stay constant. Now let's do the opposite and remove them. So we removed this one, the system responded. Remove the next one, the system responded. Now we have stable control. All right, let's compare to a ball valve here. I've got 21 orifice uh, plate covering up the holes right now. We're controlling at about 20 kilopascals. Uh, I'm gonna put another sheet on. We see the pressure has changed to 27, so I have to adjust the ball valve back. So we're at about 20 again. I'm going to add another sheet. And we've almost fully blocked all the holes again, and all the flow has dropped, so. Okay. So I've had to change the ball valve from, from about here to here to get the pressure to stay constant and also remove the sheets going back. So we've lost vacuum almost entirely. I have to uh, open back up. Okay, uh, and then we'll do the same. Again, we've lost vacuum. So I'll have to open up even more. Very sensitive um, relationship between the position of the ball valve and the pressure as a function of the blocked holes. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, contact information can be found in the link in the description down below.